we're very excited about President Obama's uh, lifting of the ban. Uh, and this ban is based on funding embryonic stem cell research. Um, for years, we've lived under a presidential policy, which is very cumbersome. So I literally have uh, two liquid nitrogen containers, and I can take embryonic stem cell lines that were made before um, 2001, and I could store those in one container, and I could fund that container with uh, NIH funds. But all the cell lines that have been made after that time require private uh, philanthropy to actually fund the research. So I have a separate liquid nitrogen nitrogen container that holds those cells. And so this is very cumbersome on science. And uh, the lifting of the band will remove those types of barriers. So we'll be able to combine cells in a single, uh, single place. And I think that uh, science will move forward just, uh, on, just on the actual way it proceeds. It will move faster. Uh, the funding of embryonic stem cell research in the United States will be huge. Well, researchers have been um, inhibited from doing uh, studies on embryonic stem cells um, that would help their uh, understanding of the basic biology and may lead to therapeutic advances. So this is really an important aspect of Obama's lifting of the ban.